He just got in. Usually I have to go and see him. He seems to think my world is supposed to revolve around him. Fathers are the center of their daughter's universe. Everybody knows that. So, Cameron. Yeah, yes. Sir, yes, sir. So about this dance, call me old-fashioned, but I'd like to get to know a little bit about the young man who's going to be taking my daughter out. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, of course, sir. Yes, sir. I'm... I don't know why I keep on saying, sir. Good manners. Good instincts. I, I have to apologize for my father. Oh, no, you don't have to. Um, but, uh, that's okay. No, I do have to because he's a retired cop who's made it his life's mission to embarrass me. And how am I doing? And for your information, Cam is going to dance with me as friends. Cameron, mm -hmm. uh, my daughter neglected to introduce us. Uh, okay, Cam, this is my father, Marcus Taggart, dad, Cameron Weber. Happy. It's nice to meet you, sir. Weber, any relationship to Elizabeth? Uh, yes, she's my mother, actually. Do you know her? I know a lot of people in Port Charles. It's Late 1900s. Whatever, but I didn't know you knew Cameron's mom. Yeah, she and your Aunt Gia used to run in the same circle. Oh, what a small world. Line. But in all fairness, so did Trina. Oh, don't even. You crossed all kinds of lines. And now you're blaming Trina because she called you out for talking trash about Cam? I guess nothing I say made an impression because you're clearly not sorry. Yes, I am. And now I'm apologizing to you both. Come on in. You mean everything to me. And I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life and I'm going to do everything I can to try and stick around and be with you guys. Well, then you have to fight. Right? You can't just give up. God, now I know what Joss must have felt like with Oscar. It's always a brain tumor. But, I mean, his his tumor was inoperable, and they did radiation and chemo and... It's too soon to know anything about treatment options. We have to make an appointment with Terry. Okay, um, you guys have a lot to... Talk about and um, I, I'm late, so I really need to get hey, going. Hey, do you want to talk about this? Mom, Trina, and Josh are waiting for me, and I, I, I just gotta go. That doesn't justify you talking trash. If you want to go around and say hateful things, don't be surprised when Joss and I don't want Whoa. you around. Whoa, guys, what is going on? Lay off him. I can't take anything for granted in this life. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, you know, we're all seniors. In a couple months, we might be going our own separate ways. And we shouldn't waste that time staying mad at each other. Okay. Well, why don't we all just split up for a minute and then we can sync back up tomorrow when we've all cooled down. Yep. See you guys when I see you. Thanks for having my back. For sure, I, I, I really don't know what any of that was. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all friends, right? It can't be that serious.
call me out like that. Like that. Yeah, you made me blush like that. Like that. Only been in one night, but it doesn't feel right. We can live a life like that. Like that. Like that. Thanks, I need that. So, what, are you the repairman or something? You're just helping the old lady out? Gladys Brill was my grandmother. Oh, God, Mrs. Brill died? Mm, last week. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry.